Okay, so you want to buy businesses and consolidate a sector so that you can build wealth, but what is the right sector to pick? Very, very important. This is the foundation from which you're building the skyscraper, so you have to get this part right. One thing people don't think about when picking the right sector is, are you picking a sector that is going to stay constant for the period of time from which you're going to be buying these businesses within the given sector? Because if you started buying blockbusters eight or nine or 10 years ago or whenever they were still in business, and then you're three years into the process. And when I say blockbusters, I mean movie rental businesses. You know, you're trying to compete with Blockbuster and do a roll up similar to what Blockbuster did, but you did that eight or nine years ago. Two years into the process, you know, that industry was dying because technology rapidly changed the entire industry. It went from the old school go on a Friday night to get a physical VHS to, oh my gosh, Netflix came, things went to the cloud, and the industry died. Right? So when you're trying to consolidate an industry, you need an industry that is going to stay consistent, that won't change. And this is what allows you to have the certainty in knowing that each acquisition you make is moving you closer towards your goal. Look, if you want to transform the world, go to Silicon Valley, go elsewhere, go into a different sector, go into the biotech industry. Okay, but that's very different. This isn't what we're trying to do when you're talking about consolidating an industry by buying a bunch of businesses that say three times earnings and then selling the package for six or eight or 10 or 12 or 15 times earnings. Here, you want a consistent industry that's not going to be rapidly transformed in a short period of time. Beyond that, I really like to look for industries that are recession resistant. I mean, if you're going to be buying businesses in this given sector for a decade or so, then mathematically, it's very likely you're going to go through at least one, if not two, or even potentially three recessions. And you want to be able to survive those recessions. And so being in an industry that's recession resistant is extremely important. Next, you want an industry that is fragmented. When I say fragmented, what I really mean is there are a plethora of businesses that are owned by mom and pop type owners. Okay, if there are only huge behemoth businesses in this given sector, then where are the acquisition targets going to come from? There's not going to be any for you. And so you really need an industry where there is fragmentation, lots of mom and pop owners. Next, you need an industry where the businesses are for sale at around three times earnings, two to four times earnings, because these deals are financeable through a traditional means and you can make those kinds of acquisitions repeatedly. If all of the businesses in the industry are selling for six or eight or 10 or 12 or 12 or 15 times, times earnings, there's nowhere for you to go. You can't buy businesses using debt in that model and you're going to require you partner with family offices or private equity groups or venture capitalists and they're going to be ruthless. They're going to eat up your deal and there's going to be nothing left for you. If you want to keep the majority ownership of these businesses, then you need to be buying them at about three, maybe four times earnings. Okay, so these are some of the the characteristics you want to look for. I can tell you that I've had clients who have bought businesses in a number of sectors, which include auto repair, HVAC. I've done plumbing deals, affordable housing. You can, although affordable housing is a little different, but you can also look into industries like garage door repair, veterinarian clinics, pet hospitals, get your mind moving. Think about things that are services usually that people need and will always need that aren't going to be rapidly transformed by AI or Amazon or some of these other technologies or, or, or upcoming ideas that could radicalize the world and you know, transform the world. Think of industries that aren't going anywhere. This is why I'm in plumbing and HVAC, plumbing and air conditioning, because those industries are going to stay constant. Robots aren't going to be fixing air conditioning units anytime soon. AI isn't going to change the need to fix plumbing, to repair pipes, to fix leaking faucets, et cetera. And so this is where I'm at. Think of industries that fit those criteria and you'll do great. With that, subscribe or follow for more. Thumbs up the video. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.